Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and welcome to A Day in the Life with me. Today's video is going to be the Wheel 77. Without further ado, let's see what the Wheel has chosen for us today. That is right, it chose the hip dot. And as you saw by, um, it's actually called Zion, uh, but I call it the pink one because I have the green one as well. And here is the packaging, the, uh, the carton in the back. And there is a nice size mirror on one side along with a screen protector, but I'm not going to blind you. I'm going to show you like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give you guys the bonus look this week. So this week will just be two looks, well, two different videos rather. Looks like I may end up having to do a couple different looks. Also, I'm not sure if you hear it, but I do have my little fan that I got from Timu right here blowing on me. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the microphone at all. Push it that way. And I do have it set up a little different because I wanted to push you guys back some. Uh, I, I'm going to hopefully wrangle my son into getting my tapestry up behind me so that you don't have to see the door anymore but you know it is what it is so let me see here let me grab out a fluffy brush a couple fluffy brushes and I'll be right back okay, so I got a couple different brushes um, pretty sure I'm probably gonna do two different eye looks and the reason that I moved this over here is because I thought I would be able to maybe make it so that I didn't blind you with the mirror uh, but maybe I need to put I don't, I don't know but plus I wanted to push you guys back a little bit so you could maybe I mean I'm big so you can see more of me um, but let's and I'm gonna just take out as many ums as I can so I believe all three of these brushes I actually got from Tanelia Kim and a friend bag or friend mail so I think I'm gonna go with this one to start off with I do have another brush that kind of matches this one and then we're just gonna get started on this lovely palette and we are gonna get going on the next step in my heart journey I talk about her just about every video I'm gonna go in with the sandstone color it's the lightest brown or tan in the shit in the container and I'm just going to lay that all over I'm not really setting the what I have you know as the primer on my eyes because I already did that with my pressed powder my loose powder rather and again gonna go in with the same brush and I think these two eyes today are going to be neutral eyes and then I'm going to do like the purples and pinks um, for the next look. So you may only get three looks now that I look at the palette more. Uh, I'm going to go in with the shade Canyon right here. And just kind of put that in the crease. So what I, where I left off I believe is you know, my second open heart surgery, the first one where they um, went through my sternum, that surgery, we, I did the mechanical valve because like I said, it was, it shouldn't have, or it should have lasted a lot longer than a bovine or tissue valve would have, or pig valve, I guess bovine is cow, um, a pig valve is what I was, or no, I don't know, it was some kind of tissue valve, but it was from an animal. Um, but I decided against that and to go with the mechanical one because, like I said, it was supposed to last um, at least 12 years, if not more. Mine lasted for, nope, how long was this? 15, I think, maybe. Mine lasted for 9 years, anyway. But I think it was supposed to last for 15 years. So... 
having that, I didn't realize at the time that getting that valve, I would have this constant ticking that I will hear. Um, I'm going to turn this off because it is kind of loud. Let me know if this sounds better now. I'm now going to go in with this darker shade. It is called Grounded, right here. And I'm just going with the tip. And I'm going to deepen up this outer corner. So, you know, getting the, the mechanical valve in, didn't realize that it was going to be a constant tick. I don't hear it anymore. Like, it sounds like a clock. What I mean, a constant tick. It sounds like a clock. And sometimes if it's, if my heart is beating really fast, I can, it's weird, but I can feel it like in my throat. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I'm weird. We're all weird. So I cleaned off my brush. I'm going to go in with this darkest brown shade right here. Excuse me. It is called Vibration. And again, just going in with a tip. I just want to add that here just to add a little bit more dimension. So, you know, when I woke up, there was a ticking. Well, first when I woke up, I was very, very sick. I don't know what I was given in the surgery, but it caused me to be very, very ill. Um, and I was, here's some TMI you might not want to be eating while you're watching this video. Um, I was projectile vomiting when I woke up. It was not a fun time. And the one thing that I remember most from that surgery was when I woke up, I, I felt like I was up really high, and I probably was um, because I was in a uh, cardiac ICU. I'm going to go in with Make, and I'm just going to lighten up the outer edges. So, you know, when I woke up, I had this nurse that I never had again the entire time I stayed in the hospital. It was strange. And I was there for five to seven days. I, I don't remember exactly how long I was there, but I was there for a while. I, d I felt so bad because the nurse was, I thought, was really, really short she might not have been because my bed was up so high but I thought she was really really short and here I am throwing up and I was apologizing because I was throwing up and ugh, it was not fun times had by anyone I did paint my nails they I didn't paint them very well but I did paint them so they're blue today and they will be blue for the next video more than likely so I have used one two three four shades and this is a 15 shade eyeshadow palette so I think for this eye look, I'm going to be done, except for, let me take care of that brush. Uh, I'm going to go in with this glitter shade right here. It is called Virgin. And put that here in the first part of the eye. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I had unrealistic expectations of the surgery and what it was going to do. So I'm taking the brown and the orange that I used, combining them together just to try to cover up the mistake I just made. You know, I, I guess I thought I was going to have so much more energy. I was going to be able to do so many things. You know, I, I had a seven-year-old, and, well, no, he would have been, oh, eight. He would have been almost ten. He, well, no, he would have just turned nine in December, and the surgery was in February. So, I thought I would have more energy, be able to do more things, run and play with him. That did not happen. So, I think I'm done with his eye look. So for the next look, I'm 
probably going to use um, some of those original shades. Like I'm going to use this one to go all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with this one. And then this one. I'm going to use this shimmer, but I'll probably deepen up the outer corner with that color. So here we go. And I'm probably only going to use two brushes like I normally do. Why do I need so many brushes? Someone explain this to me. This one is an angled shading brush from Manage or Mange, something like that. Like I said, it's one of the ones I got from Tenelia Kim. So, you know, I woke up and it is what it is. At that time, and I also ended up getting uh, my, my Aunt Flo visited me a day after my open heart surgery, which really sucked. Uh, yeah, it just really sucked. I'm going to go in with this one. And, you know, I, I wasn't really thrilled. Because, like, like I was saying, I, I thought that, you know, this surgery was going to make things better. You know, make it so that I... now was going to have all of this energy and be able to run and play with my son and just be an active mother and an active part of his life and that didn't happen but I also I had started cardiac rehab when I went back to work once I was able to drive so six weeks after the surgery I did start cardiac rehab but couldn't finish it um, because I obviously had to go during work because I worked you know normal bankers or lawyer hours I guess eight to five and so it made it difficult to actually go to cardiac rehab and do what I needed to do so I didn't finish cardiac rehab, which sucked. And then just got, you know, back into a routine of going to work and coming home and going to work and coming home. And I'm going to go in with that shimmery shade. Oh, that's, that's pretty. And, you know, it... When you fall back into a routine, nothing ever really changes because you are into this routine. So you just kind of continue on with what you're continuing on with. I don't feel like I got a whole lot on my eye. I did try to organize a little bit of my under desk. But I organized too much, I think. Because again, I couldn't find my wipes. These ones are from AOA Studios. They are supposed to be watermelon flavor. Flavor scent. I'm not going to eat it. But it's not really watermelon scented. So I'm cleaning off my hands. I'm going to go off camera, do liner, mascara, and a lip. So here is our finished looks. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. On my waterline, I am not using my project pan. I am using this Arsali in chocolate since the eye looks are both kind of brown. So I have this in my waterline. And then I went in with the House Labs um, lip crayon. Remember, this is the one that I thought was a pen and lined my lips with this one and then just colored it in and this is in the shade berry matte and it is berry matte it's not budging so here is our eye looks for tuesday's look using the hip dot zion palette or in my uh wheel it's called zip hip dot ink pink palette so let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I know that we didn't really 
get through a whole heck of a lot with my heart journey, but we're slowly getting there. And next video, I will talk to you more. Well, the next episode will be uh, when I have my heart attack. So there's that. That will be for Thursday's video. As always, guys, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Ring that notification bell so you're notified of each and every upload. Uh, I have noticed that my analytics, that my um, viewers, I'm at like 56% now of my viewers that are not subscribed to my channel. If you could please, please, please make sure that you are subscribed and ring that notification bell because I am going to get back onto a better routine. Um, you'll get at least two videos out a week out of me, if not more. I do plan on doing um, a de uh, maybe a declutter series or another collection because I have added way too many things to my collection and I still haven't finished my eyeshadow palettes. Uh, and as you saw in the last few haul videos, I've added several uh, palettes to the wheel. Um, I'm also going to be doing excuse me, some sort of sale. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a live video where um, I go through and show you the palettes and you know, I, palettes are going to be dirt cheap, like five to seven dollars per palette. It, nothing more than that. And then obviously you would pay for shipping unless your order is over so much, which I haven't figured all that out yet. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in. And I will definitely get that started. All of the palettes will be gently used. You know that I pretty much used my palettes one time. Um, I'll also add in some little extras to the bags, you know, as I see fit. Um, don't expect a whole lot because your girl is just trying to make money to survive. As always, guys, please, please, please be kind to one another. You know the rest. Bye.